Thank you, Brian. Ben Affleck's heated exchange with Bill Maher has gone viral. Hey, when, is the mother load of bad ideas. It's, it's an ugly apostasy. It's, it's the That's only it. religion that acts like the mafia that will kill you that's, if you say the wrong true. thing, I mean, draw the wrong picture, or write the wrong book. But, but what is your solution? Oh, what, what is your answer? No, the, 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 the solution, the no, 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 the solution to, is very much what, what We've killed, killed more Muslims than they've killed no, us by not, an awful lot. We've we invaded more Muslims. I'm not for more killers. An awful lot. And yet somehow we're exempted you know, from okay. these things because they're not really right. a reflection of what we believe in. But why is Ben Affleck, the director and the actor, the one defending moderate Muslims? Where are the moderate Muslims? Let's talk. To Dr. Zaudi Jasser right now, the founder and president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. He joins us this morning from Phoenix. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning. It's good to be with you. The whole clip runs about 10 minutes long, and it is fascinating. you got to hand it to Bill Maher to use his show as a forum because finally the left is talking about this. Yeah, I mean, that's the first step to get onto the 12-step program of fixing our problem within the House of Islam is the left waking up to all the human rights abuses. And, uh, you know, the interesting thing is Ben Affleck really wasn't defending moderate Islam. He was really acting like Imam Ben Affleck and defending the theocrats, the status quo. Sure. And the moderate Muslims were sort of missing in this conversation because on the other side you had Bill Maher and Sam Harris, who are atheists, who are pretty much anti-all religion. And mm -hmm. if you want to empower moderates, you have to empower reformers and those who really want to take on the leadership structure within the House of Islam and both sides are really missing the entire boat. Well, I think in listening to Ben Affleck's argument, it seems like he was taking the, the side that we've heard a million times, Doctor, which is, you know, uh, Islam is a peaceful religion. There are just a few bad actors. But we've got some polls to show we're not just talking about a few b bad apples. For instance, uh, take a look at the number of people who support Sharia law as the law of the land. In those countries, it's all in the 80s and the 90s. Next one, the share of Muslims who support the death penalty if you leave Islam. It's, it's all a majority in each of those countries. And the final poll, the share of Muslims who believe a wife is always obliged to obey her husband. It's all in the 90s. So when, you know, people say, it's just a few bad actors. There are a lot of people who believe in those things who are part of the Islam religion. And, and that's the reality that we as Muslims have to deal with. I mean, groups like ISIS don't come out of thin airs. The reason those polls exist is you have groups like the Muslim Brotherhood that won an election in Egypt. Now, they were overturned by a majority of Muslims a year later, but those polls happened because most of the Islamic schools, the universities out of Cairo, Saudi Arabia, the Islamic Republic of Iran, the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, are countries that are dominated by clerics and imams that are, are brainwashing our communities into thinking that is Islam and we have to counter that and that's the debate that Aflac and Mar were trying to have but Aflac kept saying that we were a race and right. not an ideology and you can't defeat it without getting into the ideas. Okay, let's go to the next step, doctor. All right, they've started the conversation. Now people all across the country are starting to talk about this, but, uh, particularly on the political left. What do they need to know so that they can change their minds the way you believe is the true way? Well, what they need to know is that in order to empower moderate Muslims, we have to engage the fact that it's not just the extremists, the violence, mm -hmm. but it's actually the ideas that feed that. So it's not just being against the Islamic State, but all Islamic States that believe that Sharia should be in government, that, that abuse women, that abuse minorities, that believe in against gay rights and all the aspects of modernity. That's how you engage moderate Muslims. To be in denial is to be Imam Ben Affleck and not empower moderates and reformers and have a strategy. All right. Uh, Dr. Zahudi Jasser joined us today from Phoenix. Sir, thank you very much. Thanks.